this video, we're going to add our Aspen player and a background to our platformer game with Pygame and Python. Hey guys, John Alder here from CodeB.com. And in this video, we're going to add our player Aspen and a background to our platformer game with Pygame. And this is going to be a little different than how we've added players to the screen in past videos, because now we're dealing with a tile map. We're dealing with physics. We want our player to be able to accelerate and jump and do all the things. So it's going to be slightly different than we looked at before, but not too bad. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pi Game series. So check that out if you haven't so far. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com, where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've got the code from our last video. I've just renamed it Aspen underscore platform 2.py. It was just Aspen underscore platform dot pi before. Now, the first thing we want to do is let's just add a quick background. Now, you may like the background the way it is. In fact, if we come back over here and run Python Aspen underscore platform 2.py, you see, I kind of like this. It's just very simple, very basic. We're not trying to be clever with this one yet. We're not trying to make it look nice, but if you wanted to add a background, how would you do it? Well, super, super simple. Let's come down here to our game loop and let's add a background. So I'm going to call this BG underscore image short for background image. And this is just going to be a pie game dot image dot load. We've done this lots of times and this is in my images directory slash tiles directory. I have a file just called P of bg.png. Go ahead and save that. If we want to look at this real quick, this is it right here. It's in my games slash images slash tiles directory. I just went to chat GPT and said, Hey, make me an eight bit mountain scape image with the colors blue, brown, and green. And this is what it came up with. And I took it to Photoshop and I lightened it a little bit. So it kind of fades in the background. Use any image you want. This is a terrible image, but you know, <laughs> it'll show us how to use images. So, okay, we've got this defined. Now let's go BG underscore image underscore rect. Let's make a rect out of this thing. And this is just going to be our BG underscore image dot get underscore rect. We've done this lots of times. And then let's just put this onto the screen. So that's going to be BG underscore image underscore rect. And let's put this at the top left of our screen at position zero, zero. So it's just right up in the corner. So, okay, we've got this all defined. Now we need, need to sort of put it onto the screen. And before we filled in the display surface with black color, uh, instead of doing that, or, or let's say, or blit an image, and we do want to blit an image, and this is just going to be display underscore surface dot blit and we want our BG underscore image and our BG underscore image underscore rect. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it, make sure that looks okay. Uh, oh, uh oh, BG underscore couple object is not callable. Oh, <laughs> doy. Uh, we need an equal to sign. There we go. All right, so that should work now. Nope, typo. Whew. Must not have slept well last night. All the typos early in this video. So let's see. Oh, right there. All right. One more try. Third time's the charm. There we go. Boom. So we've got this background image. I don't know. I don't love this. I kind of like the black better. It looks more old school, just generic. But this is how you would add an image if you wanted to have a background image. So we'll just leave it in there for now. So, okay, we've got our background image, super simple. Now we want to put our player onto the screen. And like I said, this is going to be a little different than how we've added images or players in the past, because we're not just dealing with simple controls like we have in past videos where you press the down key and the player moves that way. We're going to be dealing with physics now. We want them to move faster or move slower, sort of run. And then when they land kind of scoot a little bit. We want them to be able to accelerate. So we're going to have physics and stuff. And also we're dealing with a tile map. So this is all different than what we've looked at before. So right off the bat, remember how we created our tile map and we put these items in there by, let's see, let's head back over here and look at our tile map by having one zeros and twos and threes. Well, let's create a four. So we've got zero, one, two, three. Let's have four equal Aspen. 
right? So anytime we put a four in one of these, that's where our, our Aspen is going to be. So like right here, I might put a four right above this grass, right? So, okay, that's great. Now in our for loop, we need to sort of account for that. So let's come down here and let's go L if tile underscore map of I and J, if that equals four, well, we want to do some stuff. Now, before we do all this, we need to define a player class. We need to get an Aspen image and do all those things. So let's come up here to, let's see, here's our tile class. Let's uh, have an Aspen player class, right? So let's create a class. I'm going to call it Aspen because, you know, of course I am. <laughs> and this is going to be a pie game dot sprite dot sprite. And inside of here, as always, we want to define our underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And we want to pass in a self and an X and a Y because we're going to need coordinates for this, right? X and Y will be our coordinates. And inside of here, we want our super as always underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And then let's define our Aspen image. So let's going to go self dot image. And it's going to be a pie game dot image dot load. And let's use from our images directory that same Aspen dot PNG that we've been using forever. Uh, let's see, that's just our images directory. Oh, we called her Aspen two. So uh, this should be Aspen two. Oh, there we go. And we also have to get the rect as always. So let's go self dot rect. And that's going to be our self dot image dot get underscore rect. Okay, and we also want to, of course, position Aspen to begin with. So let's go self dot rect and let's put this at the bottom left at the X, Y coordinate. Okay, that looks good. And while we're at it, let's just define our update function and pass in self because, you know, we're going to want to do this, but let's just pass this for now and we'll move that down. Okay, go ahead and save that. That looks good. Now, We've got our sprite groups defined. We're going to need another one for Aspen, right? So let's call this the Aspen group. And that's just going to be, of course, pygame dot sprite dot group. So we've got all this defined. Now we need to create an instance of Aspen, right? So we want to do that probably in here. But first, let's add this to the screen as we always would. So uh, let's come down here and underneath the tiles in our game loop, let's say what update and draw sprites. And this is going to be our Aspen underscore group. We just created dot update and Aspen underscore group dot draw. And we want to draw her to the display underscore surface. There we go. That looks good. Now we just need to deal with actually creating the instances of Aspen. And we're going to use these coordinates like we did earlier because these are all 32 by 32, which is what our tiles are. And we're going to use the J and the I to, you know, sort of create X and Y coordinates for Aspen. So let's create an Aspen instance. And this is going to be an Aspen class, right? And again, what does Aspen need? Well, she needs an X and a Y coordinate. Well, the X and Y coordinates are going to be wherever she is here. And those are going to be I of 32 and J of 32, just like we did here. So uh, we'll start out with J times 32 and I times 32. And then we just need to add this like we always would. So let's go Aspen underscore group dot add. And we want to add in that Aspen. So let's go ahead and save this and see what kind of errors we made. I'm making all the errors this morning, as you've already seen. So I probably have some typos somewhere, but let's run this and see. And also, it's not going to quite be what we want. We're going to have to make one minor change. Oh, let's see. Oh, did we do it again? Self dot rec. Yes, I did the exact same thing again. Wow. What a day we are having here. So uh, bottom left equals equals <laughs> What is wrong with me today. Okay, 
So here we go. And we see here's Aspen right here in the corner. But you'll notice Aspen is kind of hovering here. Well, that's because everything is 32 by 32, but Aspen is like, I don't even remember, 64 by 84 or something. Uh, let's see. We could check real quick. Properties, uh, detail, yeah, 85 by 87. So, oh, we need to put her down quite a bit. So let's exit out of here. And when we're creating her down here, let's just add, let's just start with 32. Let's see if that brings her down. We may have to play with this number. And, oh, no, that seems just to be perfect. So, boom, there she is. And we're good to go. So, you know, we can we can have many aspens on the screen if we want, just by adding a four wherever we want. So if we want an aspen, let's say up here, right above this little ledge thing, we just add a four. Right? Come back over here. And boom, now we've got an aspen up here and an aspen down here. Aspen's everywhere. Aspen gone wild, right? But very cool and very easy. Now I know you're probably thinking, okay, now how does Aspen move? Oh, that's a whole thing. We've got to get into this. It's going to involve physics, acceleration, velocity, vectors, 2D vectors, two-dimensional vectors. We'll get into all of this in the next video. It's going to take a bit. We should be able to knock out in a video, I would imagine. But for now, we've got Aspen on the screen. We've introduced a new way of putting Aspen on the screen by using our tile map and just slapping up a four. And uh, very, very cool. And very nice. And I don't know, I kind of like this background after all. It's growing on me. <laughs> I don't know. I would probably just leave it black because whatever. But if you want a background, make your own background. Add it on there. It's sort of a little more fancy than our very basic green and brown background that we have here in our water. But whatever. We'll play around with the look of this thing later on after we learn how to actually create these things. For now, we're just doing the basics and it's pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Doing over 190,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.